High Tech Oils. Available from Auto One, Sprint Auto Parts, and all leading independent auto stores. On today's show, we head to the legendary Monza circuit for the 2015 edition of the Monza Rally Show, featuring Rally's biggest names and multiple world motorcycling champion Valentino Rossi. Then we take a look back on the season that was in the 2015 FIA World Endurance Championship, where Australia's Mark Webber finally broke through to win his maiden world championship. Then we head back to Australia and to Phillip Island as we rewind the clock to the 2015 Porsche Carrera Cup Pro-Am. And later we take a look at some of the wildest moments over the last few years from the Andra Drag Racing Series. This is Speed Week. As the mist begins to lift over this iconic Monza circuit, we welcome you to the Monster Energy Monza Rally Show for 2015 with another whole host of stars out to do battle across the stages on Friday, Saturday and Sunday morning and then the awesome Masters Show which takes place on Sunday afternoon. Just one of the stars competing is the undisputed king of motocross. That's Tony Cairoli, who we see at work here, very sideways in the WRC 1.6 Citroen DS3. Ah, it's going good, you know, I like this. Uh, the rally is my second passion. This is not a proper rally, it's more a show in the circuit. So uh, anyway, it's, it's a great op opportunity for me to test these uh, awesome cars, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and, and battling with uh, some good riders. So it's, uh, it's fun to, for the public also. My object, objective is uh, for sure the podium, That's uh, last year I was 6, the year before I was a little bit uh, more in the back, so I try to improve every year and uh, maybe this year is the time for the podium, I, I hope, that's my goal. So every time there is an engine uh, going, there is a warmer uh, atmosphere, so I think it's, uh, it's great to be here with, uh, with a lot of fans coming over for the weekend, so it's going to be fun. With so much going on for the fans, it's why it attracts tens of thousands to pack the grandstands and pack the access all areas paddock too. One of the WRC stars at work now in his Hyundai is Thierry Neuville. I'm very happy to be here. The Italian team bought the two cars at Hyundai Motorsport this year and asked me to drive their cars here. This is the first time for me, but I've heard a lot of good things, especially that Valentino is here too, and many other pilots, motocross racers too. That's great, and I think we all will have a good time here. Pleasingly, our cameras are afforded access to the driver's briefing ahead of the event where all the drivers and co-drivers get together to uh, hear from the uh, stewards of the event. Good fun to be had by all, as you can see, as stern-faced with Antonio Liuzzi there. Smiling Valentino Rossi and the briefing room filling up to uh, capacity. Just ahead of the event getting underway. So Valentino Rossi leads the applause for the race officials as we get the action underway. And the first event is the exhibition grid, affording a great opportunity for the fans to enjoy exclusive access, not only to the cars, but to the stars as well. It's all part of the experience for the Monza Rally Show, allowing everyone to mingle together and enjoy this fantastic event. Packed crowds on the exhibition grid means that the driving has to be precise even before the event gets underway. And as the crowds dissipate, we await the fantastic competition to come. So on day one then, the engine note rises as the competition does get underway. Thousands of fans here to uh, enjoy Friday and uh, stage one. The Valentino Rossi, a monster liveried machine and lots of other machines for you to enjoy as well. And it's not only the modern WRC cars, but historics are involved in the Monza Rally show as well. Just adding to the sight and the spectacle 
And talking of the spectacle, this drone camera reveals just how big the paddock is at the Monza Rally Show. As we check out Valentino Rossi now in the M Sport Fiesta, there's Tony Cairoli. And this is Cairoli at speed and in action. Smoothly through onto this uh, circuit here at the uh, Monza Rally Show. Perico, and here is uh, Thierry Neuville then in the Hyundai i20. Tire smoking through, and Valentino Rossi we're on board with now. And it's a stall for Valentino Rossi. Gets the car going once again, and he's away. Also on his way is Antonio Liuzzi then, former Formula One star of course, and the stage is mapped out on this Monza circuit for all to see, and as night falls, the circuit is lit up with the headlights of the cars and takes on almost a romance all of its own as we see uh, Tony Cairoli here in the uh, treble two car and uh, Thierry Neuville back in the daylight making short work of that hairpin and through the chicane as well looks awfully serious but that is because it is a competition as well as very much a show for the fans and every single driver out there wants to win. Piero Longhi then, star of the Monza Rally Show for many years and this fantastic shot that we're able to bring you in the night time with the onboard camera there. Something very, very special at uh, watching this WRC focus at speed in the dark as well with Antonio uh, Liuzzi at the helm of that car and the moonlight. Let's hear from him now. I'm trying to adapt my driving style to the rally style. It's not easy because I had no time to test the car. So I will try to improve day by day. As always, we are here to win, but anyway, I will try to help my team and my mates and try to reach the podium. So the Monza Rally Show offers competition for a wide category of cars, including the WRC cars, both 1.6 and 2 litre, also R5, S2000, R4, R3C, which is all Clios, the R3T, and then the fantastic historical cars, which includes Porsches and an Audi Quattro, Lancia, and Ferrari to boot as well. We've met some of the stars already, but single-seater star here at the Monza Rally Show is Luca Filippi. First of all, uh, it's important to be here. Uh, we had a long season. I had a fantastic season in IndyCar. I had my first IndyCar podium, and uh, it's good to finish the season like this with friends, with so many fans and supporters and uh, having fun. I mean, uh, motorsport is about excitement and fun as well, and uh, there is nothing as nice and funny as driving a rally car. So I'm sliding around the corners, and I hope uh, that the people are watching are as, uh, enjoying as much as I do. Well, we love to see the cars sliding around the corners, and Piero Longhi is uh, one of those that can do it, and do it in style as well, as we bring you some shots now of the stages as they are underway. Whole sets of stages are set up around the Monza circuit and drivers and co-drivers compete and crash and bosh and bash across the competition on Friday, Saturday and also Sunday morning as they head towards the Masters show. Fantastic onboard shot then of driver and co-driver at work inside these fantastic cars. Via then in the uh, Peugeot and in the Fiesta it's Gianluca Bioni using not only the asphalt but the grass too. Then we see uh, Fario Babini and also the car of uh, Michel Tagliani and then heavy heavy braking from the uh, Paul Andrucci car all competing in the uh, Monza Rally Show and this fantastic rearward uh, onboard shot that we're able to bring you, illustrating the packed grandstands. Everyone here enjoying the uh, Monza Rally Show. The action coming thick and fast wherever you choose to spectate around the uh, circuit. But of course, tens of thousands of the spectators are here to see this man, Valentino Rossi, along with Thierry Neuville, 
of course, finished the uh, Wales Rally GB, having rolled the uh, Hyundai i20. Valentino Rossi missing out on the Masters show title last year to Robert Kubica, who sadly is not competing this year. Let's go on board now with the Hyundai driver, Thierry Neuville, looking oh so focused and determined in that car. Let's watch and listen. Great to look at the graphics and also to hear the co-driver at work also. And here's some fantastic drone shots of Valentino Rossi. It's utter poetry in motion. It's all about the cars, the drivers, and a fair bit of glamour thrown in for good measure as well. The paddock forming very much part of the entertainment and some of these awesome historic cars on display and the opportunity for the spectators to mix it thick and fast with the engineers hard at work as well. No one's afraid of saying yes to having a photo and maybe you'll get a kiss thrown in as well. Stay with us, there's plenty more action coming from the 2015 Monza Rally Show right up to this break. It can be hard work for the drivers like Valentino Rossi to navigate their way through the packed paddock. Almost as hard as competing out on stage as well. Brilliant super slow-mo shot of the Monster Energy livery to Valentino Rossi car. And this is Vid Antonio Liuzzi. Antonio then giving the focus absolutely everything he can in front of thousands and thousands of spectators here. The car looking and sounding absolutely awesome around this uh, Monza circuit. So to the machine of Paolo Andreucci that we watch now. Again, that heavy, heavy braking, the suspension dipping down on the front of the car. The I-20 of uh, Thierry Neuville with the rear wheels locked up, provoking that uh, tail slide out. Absolutely awesome to watch. Tire smoking from Thierry Neuville. And then on to the old banking here at Monza. It's Tony Cairoli. <laughs> Again, some great footage of uh, Tony Cairoli at work in the uh, treble two Citroen. And this launch is from Valentino Rossi. He too takes to the banking of Monza. Stage is set up through the day and through the night too, right around this Monza circuit. And that was a great overtake, not something you see too often in rally. And there's another supreme onboard shot then through the chicane here on the start finish straight. As we should remember, all the volunteers and marshals that make this show the success it is, without their hard work, there would be no Monza Rally Show for us all to enjoy. Another one of the VR46 liveried cars comes from the Brivio brothers, David A and Roberto. As we go back to a nighttime running here at the Monza Rally Show, and what a sight this is. And as you can see, the grandstands remain absolutely packed all the way through to enjoy the action, even if it's brought about by the headlights on the cars of all the competitors, including Valentino Rossi, who we're back with now in the daylight. Let's go on board with Gigi Galli then, known of course as the Italian steering wheel for his totally spectacular driving and we're getting a fantastic ride on view of that. Green is gears, red is brake, 
Gigi Galli hard at work then in the cockpit of the car. Co-driver looks utterly uh, scared, witless. So the veteran Shishi Galli then showing how it is done and doing it in fine style. Handbrake being used there to turf the back end of the car out as we go back now to uh, Tony Cairoli, the motocross star. Undisputed king of motocross and this is Thierry Neuville through that chicane. Across the course of the weekend, Thierry Neuville has looked on it. Very plain and simple livery across the Hyundai i20, but it's oh so effective, and that can be said of the driver as well. In the S2000 category, the uh, Peugeot 207 of Manuel Villa, looking so precise, unlike Tonio Liuzzi as he clatters into the Armco. Back to the S2000 and Andrea Liberini then, making easy work of it, locking up the uh, back wheels, provoking the rear end to step out and then back with your foot on the gas. More of the same. Fantastic shots as we lift a wheel there. And this, for my money, is one of the uh, best liveries out there. The number 22 car of Riccio. And this is Tobia Cavallini. This then, the Peugeot 208 of Andreucci again. And back out on track we go with Valentino Rossi. As we reach the very sharp end of the Monza Rally, it's going to be Valentino Rossi that is victorious in the rally. The VR46 liveried Fiesta taking him to the Monza Rally win. Will he win the Masters show? I'm very happy. I want to thank Carlo, Cassina and the team. It was very funny. I need a beautiful victory like this. It was beautiful to fight against Nouvelle and Cairoli. We are very happy and satisfied. Well, let's see if he will be victorious in the Masters show as well. But before then, here comes the podium. And you can just hear the entire Monza grandstands erupt as Valentino Rossi on the top step of the podium for the Monza Rally. We will head to the Master Show next. Two identical circuits. Two drivers go head to head for the Trofeo Marco Simoncelli. First to show then it is Thierry Neuville versus Roberto Brivio. Two laps of the 1.5 kilometer circuit. We await the green and we go. So Roberto Brivio then in the BB livery to car. He is heading up towards the uh, first chicane here on the circuit, going, if you like, effectively the correct way around the circuit, whereas Thierry Neuville heads off in the wrong direction. So in this semi-final then, the power is on. Beautiful donut around the uh, 958 Santero uh, Spumanti livery tower. Through this tight section of two hairpins. Bear in mind the circuits are replicated at either end. And uh, while you would say anecdotally that Thierry Neuville was ahead because they crossed the timing line, Thierry Neuville appeared to have the lead and we watch Thierry Neuville now around the same section of the circuit again oh so close to that concrete wall we go back to Roberto Brivio so Roberto and Davide the uh, two Brivio brothers in that uh, fiesta time of 2.47.48 now you can see the uh, clock ticking down on your screen around the Pirelli tower now for the Brivio brothers and very wide and long round there we'll give him the traction out just wonder whether they lost a few tenths there. This is Thierry Neuville then in the Hyundai i20, the first of these uh, WRC 1.6 semi-finals, and they're heading towards the checkered flag now, and Thierry Neuville wins by a huge margin of 5.32. So this is semi-final two. It's Tony Cairoli versus Valentino Rossi. There is Tony Cairoli, the motocross superstar. And Valentino Rossi across in the pit lane. So one section is on the start-finish straight here at Monza. One section starts from the uh, pit lane. All eyes on the uh, lights then. 
Who will get the better start? Well, I think it was uh, Cairoli. They got the better start there. Let's see how they uh, cope now with this tight and twisty. 1.5 kilometer circuit that has been set out for this master show. Now, bear in mind that each and every one of these competitors that's through to the Masters show have already had uh, two and a half days of non-stop competition. Uh, Rossi makes short work of the uh, tower there. Here comes uh, Tony Cairoli, who's later into it. You can't really look at the two uh, sections of the circuit as being absolutely identical. One section of the circuit is certainly quicker. And Rossi looking oh so good and the crowd erupting in the main grandstand which is exactly where that is and there you can see Valentino Rossi he crosses the timing line ahead of uh, Tony Cairoli but don't read too much into it it's uh, all important to keep your eyes on the clock and heading towards the checkered flag now here comes Tony Cairoli who does beat Valentino Rossi and there you can see the delight that Tony Cairoli has and Valentino Rossi still going to showboat for the fans, though. Born entertainer. Next up, then, it's uh, Andreucci, Paolo Andreucci, and Alessandro Ray. This is the finale of the R5 category. All eyes on the lights, then. Engine note rises, so to the anticipation and the excitement, and let's go. So Alessandro Ray and uh, Paolo Andreucci then out there in the uh, master show this, the uh, final of the R5, still to come the uh, final of the WRC 1.6, so so looking forward to that, that will picture Thierry Noville and Tony Cairoli together, that looks poised and perfect, very very good example of how to uh, nail that, very much wider line here, plenty of tyre smoke but I think that's costing time, truthfully. Sight and sound of these cars, absolutely magnificent here in the Master Show and the uh, final of the R5 category of cars that we're watching now. So first lap uh, completed and done and dusted. Again, power goes down to get the rear end and front end sliding beautifully. Good traction out. Heavy, heavy braking for this uh, chicane section. Oh, ho, ho. and taking just some of the tyres as well. Won't have affected the time too much, I don't think, because the uh, momentum was uh, maintained. Another uh, tyre bale going uh, for a button as it's kicked out by the back end of the car. So Andreucci then ahead. And there you can see in super slow-mo how some of the uh, marker tyres... Came under just a little bit of a uh, bashing from the cars out there on track in this, the uh, finale for the R5 cars. So looking through the uh, lens of another camera then, as we reach the conclusion of this uh, final for the R5 category here in the uh, Masters show at the Monza Rally show. You can see the light is beginning to fade, the headlights are on the cars. So for the final time around the Pirelli Tower. Keeping that power on and the smoke pouring off the rear wheels. Back sliding out absolutely beautifully. Of course as the light goes, so some of the grip in the track too. So Andreucci takes it. And now we reach the final of the WRC 1.6. It's Thierry Neuville versus Tony Cairoli. Motocross versus Rally. Who will be the victor in the Masters show? We follow Thierry Neuville now in the Hyundai. And this is Tony Cairoli who has looked absolutely menacing throughout the weekend here at Monza. And will desperately want to take this title. So too, though, will Thierry Neuville, and he's looking good around that. That is perhaps the tightest, most precise donuts around that tower that we've seen from Thierry Neuville. 
Car looks absolutely awesome, sounds it too. And Thierry Neuville has driven it in real style across the uh, three days of the Monza Rally Show, which we reach the conclusion of now. It is the uh, grand finale in the WRC 1.6 cars. In this, the uh, Masters show, there's Tony Cairoli. He would say anecdotally from them crossing the timing line is just slightly behind but seems to be ahead now. And it is Cairoli that's leading by seven tenths of a second over Thierry Neuville. Now, unlike the heats and the semi finals, the duration is increased. And there's big, big damage on the front of the Thierry Neuville car, I've just noticed. So when we pick up the Thierry Neuville car again, you'll see there's damage to the front right-hand quarter. So Thierry Neuville, and that could account for the loss of time. You can see the bodywork flap in there. It doesn't appear to be uh, hampering the car too much. And there you can see it would, uh, you would argue that Thierry Neuville was ahead at that half lap point, but that isn't the case. Tony Cairoli is leading currently, and is Tony Cairoli heading towards the Masters title here at the Monza Rally Show. Well, providing he keeps it clean, tight and tidy and makes no mistakes, there's every possibility. But Thierry Neuville will be throwing absolutely everything at it to try and make up that time. That time which was obviously lost when he clattered something. The damage of which we can see on the front end of his car. So the timing line is in sight. Another lap to be completed. Now there you would say that Thierry Neuville was slightly ahead as the darkness falls, but that that's, well, the damage appears to have got even bigger now on the Thierry Neuville car. It's Thierry Neuville versus Tony Cairoli, and this is Tony Cairoli. He needs to make it uh, good around there, and he does so. There is Thierry Neuville then giving it everything he can. He really threw that car into that uh, Pirelli Tower. You can see he's thrown it into something else as well because of the damage. We are awaiting the winner, and we think it's going to go the way of uh, Tony Cairoli. He can give it a footfall now and head towards the checkered flag, and Cairoli wins by 1.41 seconds over Thierry Neuville. So Tony Cairoli is the winner of the Masters show, and he donuts in front of the crowd to celebrate. What a star. And there is uh, Thierry Neuville, and the podium then sees Tony Cairoli and Thierry Neuville up there, P1 and P2, in the Masters show from the Monza Rally Show. We have had three phenomenal days of rally action here on this fantastic circuit, bringing to a close the Monza Rally Show for 2015. Coming up after the break, we take a look back at how Mark Webber broke through to win the 2015 FIA World Endurance Championship.